what's up guys this is Brandon um, I'm gonna show you how to wrap this mirror in matte metallic purple I'm gonna do it in two pieces actually it has a 90 de degree drop off right here on the back and um, right now I have knifeless, knifeless tape um, lined up here on the side I'm gonna pre stretch it which I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna heat the material uh, super evenly Watch what's gonna happen right here. Just hugs the mirror. That's why I don't want to go all the way to the edge because I want to give it that little extra hug. Just like that, and the base of the mirror <clears throat> is already wrapped. No tension. So. Around just for the knife which I have right on the body line for it. Looks real nice and clean. I'm not really worried too much about I have a little tension on this back edge. I'm not gonna really too much worry too much about it because the piece, the overlay piece that I put is gonna actually hold it for the long term. So there we go. That's just to the necklace right there. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this away a little bit in the front. So that I can access the necklace tape. Well, the knife tape kind of broke right there, so 
So I'm going to come from the other side. Got it. I'm going to tear this away. I'm going to take out the line from the knife with tape and I'm going to push. Pull out both lines and I'm going to just push it down. <clears throat> push it down to seal it. <clears throat> Sorry, this mirror actually doesn't um, swivel at all. So it actually, that's another reason why I um, I did it in two pieces because it's really hard to get around that angle. And uh, <clears throat> so actually right here, I don't know if you can see, the knife was taped, didn't cut all the way through right there. So I'm actually just gonna clean it up just a hair. But I mean, you get the point of why I pre-stretched it and um, it just honestly just went I'm gonna clip my blade right here so I because I'm gonna actually have to cut right on the mirror just very light pressure so you don't scratch the paint that's it <clears throat> On this bottom edge here, I don't want to just, there's kind of a recess right here. I don't want to just shove it in there, so I'm going to lift the material up and just feed it in. This does take good knife skills, but it just takes practice. I'm going to try to do it without stopping. And just very light pressure, just right on that line. You don't want to slip because then you'll go into the actual wrap itself. And then you got to start over. See, I'm kind of adjusting my body and my hand with the curve. Super light pressure. <clears throat> Always seal it after. Technically, don't have to post heat this because of the way I shrunk it back on there. It actually wrapped itself around the mirror. But this looks really good, guys. I'll show you what we got here. So the last thing I'm going to do real quick is lay knifeless again, right, actually I see a piece I need to trim real quick. I'm going to lay knifeless right on the other side of the overlap. There we go, clean that up a little bit where the knife was started, actually where it broke. <clears throat> I'm going to uh, lay knifeless. I'm going to put the green, the edge of the knife list, right on the edge of the overlap. Obviously, one thing I didn't show guys is um, how to prep this mirror, but make sure you're very thorough with your prep. Degrease it with alcohol on all the edges. Perfect right there. Actually, sometimes I know this is all bunched up, but 
just for purpose of the video, I'm actually just going to use this piece because it will still go on there just fine when I smooth it out. This piece is extremely easy, but actually the cut on this, I'll try to show you if you can see it, is actually very, um, because the smear doesn't swivel, it actually can be a tricky cut. So there we go, it's already flattened out. It looks fine even though that piece was scrunched up. That's the good thing about vinyl. Um, again, I'm gonna cut away some of this right to the edge so I can access the knife loose. <clears throat> Make sure everything's folded around to the knife loose, nice and clean. And this will actually, like I said, this will actually hold the other side. If there was any tension, this will hold it down. I'm going to kind of do, a, this can be tricky, I'm going to kind of do a floating lifeless pull. <clears throat> there we go, nice and clean. And pull away the filament. And then just, with my finger, take it and just seal everything. And if done right, you can't even see the overlap. And this will definitely, I mean, you could... This is a tough curve on the side. You could probably wrap this in one piece, but will it stay for the long term? It's hard to say. So, <clears throat> so now the last thing I gotta do is trim this up. And actually, <clears throat> actually I have to use my left hand to, to start this. I'm gonna just make the line with my finger now so I can see it. And because I can't get in there with my right hand, I'm actually going to start with my left. It's kind of a tricky cut. It's a really small... ...bevel. Super light pressure, so I'm not cutting anything. Just kind of follow it up. There is a groove, though, like I said. Again, using my left hand, so... Good cutting skills is always, always key. And then on the other side, I'm gonna kinda, two hands, come in with my blade and just finish it off. Get all the fingers off and everything, but... 